those SEC wins over LSU. The South Carolina team will be without Chloe Kitts, who grabs the rebound, looking to push. Here's a look at that first five for South Carolina. Pow Pow Hall, Johnson, Watkins, and there's Cardozo who lays it in. South Carolina absolutely will make you regret it if you turn it over. Yeah, Carolina forces 16 turnovers a game. Watkins on the inside, lays it up and in. Cardozo, six foot seven on the interior for the South Carolina team. She gets a touchdown low. Savannah Scott deflected it. Block shot for Scott, and Auburn will look to run. Transition opportunity. Instead, South Carolina wants to slow it down. Good defense there from Taylor Collins, but saves it back in play to South Carolina. And Ashlyn Watkins has her second field goal. Yeah, you saw the steal by Collins, but as she tried to save it in, there were two Garnet jerseys there. Nobody for Auburn in an easy lane. Well, especially in this building, too, they play with a little more confidence. Celia Sambani and Owen Akimbabawa are the first two Tigers huh. in for Auburn. And how about the bounce? Well, she gets up a lot of shots every day, game day, practice day, or otherwise. And you just saw to spell Savannah Scott, but Akimbalawa picked up two quick fouls. So Scott back in. There's a floater for Raven Johnson. She's on the scoreboard. She pops up open on the left elbow and knocks it down. Coming off a 13-point game earlier in the week against Georgia. Collins' first bucket of the night. Just to deliver through the passing lanes tonight. Watkins gives back to Pow Pow. Soft touch underneath as Fagan leads it, lays it in. Mingo Young on the drive. She'll pull up. It's good. She can do that. That's the kind of play that Mingo Young gives you. And a steal here for Auburn. Bostic fighting for it. Zambani comes up with it. Over to Mingo Young. Down low to Thurman. Open layup, and it's good. We went to break under review. The officials were looking at a possible timing error, but confirmed that it was Auburn basketball. There's a great lay-in by wow. Honesty Scott Grayson. What a crossover. Yeah. On the drive, Watkins with another offensive rebound and put back. Yeah. How many offensive rebounds is Ashlyn Watkins going to get tonight? When the shot went up, she immediately went to the back side to gather the in ESPN app. Well, the number one team in the country is plus three at the free throw line, and they lead, well, now by just one. Auburn cuts that deficit to oh. one. For Wiley oh. behind the back. Wow. Play, this is behind the back and the finish, the floater. And Sakima Walker in for her first action of the game. Scott Grayson gets a look. She nails it. Auburn's one back within one. Jumped up in the air and didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, they had nowhere to go with it after that. Full Wiley again with a strong finish with the right hand. Really impressed by Full, Full Wiley. South Carolina has not led this game by more than two possessions yet, have they? No. Competitive back and forth game, and that changes on the lay-in from Raven Johnson. And. Uh, she was able to get too close to the rim there and finish. Taylor Collins pull up. No good. It's a rebound for Savannah Scott, who puts it back up and in. And it's the Gamecocks looking to run the other way. Three-pointer in the corner. Yeah, that one will go. Yep. Yep. This team wasn't going to stay over. Johnson with the pass and then the drift to the corner for the open look. And out of that, we'll see what they do out of the offensive set. There's one pass to Scott Grayson. They'll take the first three, or make the first three of the game for Auburn. And both teams shut out from three in the first half, and now both have one of the early stages of the third quarter. And here's a steal. Honesty, Scott Grayson looks to run. Watkins trailing, but Scott Grayson gets the layup to go. On the inside, it. here's Cardozo. Akin Balawa defending, and she just threw it over. You wonder, can the Tigers afford to give her a little bit of a rest that's not a timeout? For Wiley on the drive, gets the bucket to go, plus the foul. 
get another look at it. She got a little bit of leverage on Duhan. Yeah, she was in the air when she was fouled. That's a good shot. This was a new South Carolina team, relatively new. A lot of new players on the roster playing bigger roles. And there was some talk that maybe there'd be a little bit of a fall off this year. That's not the case. For this Auburn team, a little short on the jump shot there. When fatigue sets in, that's an indicator. Shots get short. And one for Ashlyn Watkins. Head coach Don Staley has been coaching the entire time. As animated as she's been all game long as her team has their largest lead. Sambani's first field goal attempt of the game. They gave it to her on the elbow. Again, the defense sagging a little more. Wow, the acceleration and the finish. Right into Cardozo. A couple of hands on the ball, but she's able to finish through contact. Bostic on the pull up. Collins saves it. Scott Grayson floater is good. Cardozo with a touch. And Bostic came up from behind, knocked it away. Up ahead, Scott Grayson lays it up and in. And Scott Grayson with 19 of Auburn's 47 shot attempts. And on the other side, it's Watkins again. There's just no answer for Watkins. 14 points. The but touch on that shot, super impressive. The game's going to be wild in Oxford Saturday, by the way. No kidding. There it is. Pow Pow, a little bit on both ends of the floor. Pow Pow given a little too much space. She saw the open 15 rebounds, five blocks, three steals to go with 14 points. Tessa Johnson three is good. It's now the largest lead of the game for South Carolina. 18 points here in the second half. Simbane with the block, and here's Honesty Scott Grayson up ahead. Strong drive, put back up and in by Walker. Easy offensive rebound. Mingo Young's got it. A kick to Thurman, and Full Wiley just snatched it out of the air. Left handed. Non-conference game at Colonial Life Arena. That'll be a good one. Block for yep. Scott Grayson on the denial. Honesty will run. Reverse layup is good for Honesty Scott Grayson. 31 tonight for Honesty Scott Grayson. Wow. One minute remaining. And South Carolina is looking pretty strong as Sydney Shaw makes her second three-point shot of the game. Tessa Johnson a layup on the other end. Absolutely. Quickly back to again, finish well. Competitive first half, and then South Carolina turned it on in the second half as the Gamecocks open the season. 20-0, 39 consecutive SEC wins.